Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sandusky, Ohio, where today we get a behind the scenes look at Cedar Point. So let's see what's going on in the park. Welcome inside Cedar Point, and we are here with the PR manager for Cedar Point, Brian Edwards. And Brian, how are you doing? It's great today. A little colder and snowier than what you'd usually expect at Cedar Point, but there's a lot of activity going on right now. Absolutely. We don't normally see snow here in Cedar Point, but we're, we're, lit, we're digging it. So uh, around us right now, we have a little where the Good Times Theater used to be. It looks like there's some construction going on. Tell us what's happening. Yeah, there's a lot of changes going on this season at Cedar Point, getting ready for the 2015 summer. And yeah, behind me used to be our Good Time Theater, where we used to have different shows. Way back in the day, we used to have a big IMAX movie theater, uh, but we're removing that. That area or that attraction will no longer be here at Cedar Point. Also behind us used to be our Dodge and Bumper Car ride. That is being uh, relocated over to another side of the peninsula. And then over to my right, our Turnpike Cars ride, which is more of a smaller kids family ride. That's also being removed. Uh, and again, we haven't announced plans for what we're doing yet with that land, um, but you know Cedar Point, we've always got something cool up our sleeves. Absolutely. And right behind us is also one of the favorite rides for everybody's the Millennium Force. I gotta ask you, do you ride the Millennium Force much? Yeah, I'm not much of a coaster rider anymore, but Millennium Force, it's the biggest, it's the best coaster in the entire world. And actually, it was, it's been voted the best steel roller coaster in the world now for four or five years. So if you love thrills, if you love excitement, if you just love having fun, Millennium Force and Cedar Point's the place to be. It's quite the stomach drop. Let's go check out some more of the park. All right, now we are here at the new ride called the Rougarou. And first, Brian, I gotta ask, what is a Rougarou? Yeah, Rougarou is our brand new coaster experience this summer at Cedar Point. The name comes from a werewolf-like creature in French folklore uh, that rises up from the swampy grounds around it. And again, uh, Rougarou has swamps and kind of canals all around it, so we thought it was a perfect name for the new coaster. Yeah, and uh, this used to be known as the Mantis. It was a standing roller coaster. So what is changing between the Mantis and Rougarou? Yeah, Rougarou is a complete new ride experience here at Cedar Point, something our guests have never been able to experience uh, because it's going to be a floorless coaster. And the best way I can explain a floorless coaster is um, traditionally when you're in a roller coaster like Millennium Force or Magnum, you're sitting down inside a train. Well, here on Rougarou, you're going to be sitting up. So it's almost like taking your dining room chair around your table and putting it up on a platform. There's nothing around you. There's nothing around your arms. Your arms can dangle. Your legs can dangle. It's going to be a really unique and fun ride experience. And what made you guys decide to change from the Mantis to the Rugers? What made, what made you guys decide that that's what the change you needed to do here? Yeah, you know, everything we do here at Cedar Point, uh, whether it's something new, whether it's uh, established attractions, uh, it's our guests that dictate really what we do here. We like to say our guests vote with their feet. We know what rides people ride, how often. You know, I can tell you how many people rode Magnum uh, every day, every hour, every week, every month. Uh, so again, it's really our guests that tell us what they like and what they don't like. And we saw fewer and fewer people were riding Mantis as the years gone by and uh, the cost to maintain it was going higher and higher so we thought let's completely redesign this uh, come up with the new floorless coaster plan and early buzz from our guests is they're very excited and they can't wait for the park to open this May. Absolutely so stay tuned this spring the Rougarou opens up. All right, we're over here by the dragster now. And Brian, let's talk a little bit. We don't just shut down the lights at Cedar Point after everybody leaves. What goes on in the winter here? Yeah, I think a lot of people believe that after closing day, we turn the lights off, lock the rides up, and go home for the winter when really nothing could be further from the truth. The, the entire park is really a beehive of activity, including our uh, off-season preventative maintenance program. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, actually we're seeing a little bit of it right here behind me. Uh, these are the actual top throw dragster cars that uh, go on the trains uh, that provide you know summer fun for our guests. And what we do is each one of our coasters, we take off the cars and the trains from every single coaster is almost immediately after closing day and they have a schedule that they go through. And basically what we do is what you're seeing here is we strip them down all the way to parts. And that way that allows us to really rehab and look at those coaster cars and trains and look for anything that 
that might need repairs from all the way down to ball bearings to seat belts again to make sure these rides are in their optimal position and uh, to provide a safe ride for our guests during the summer months so a lot of that work that goes into keeping these rides operable and safe during the season is happening this time of year so a lot of safety precautions for the summer to take place with total safety happens during the winter absolutely you know we want our rides to be fun but we want them to be safe as well and that's what we're doing this time of year again uh, the uh, the analogy I always use is imagine taking your car and every winter when you go in for your winter maintenance that they destroy it take it all the way down to parts and rebuild it that look at every single aspect of that car it'll run forever and that's our goal with these coasters yeah and beyond the coasters what else is done in the winter here yeah there's so many things going on you know our merchandise and, and games department they're bringing in all of the winter things that can't survive out in the gift shops you know so those snow globes those can't stay out in the winter they'll freeze and shatter for us uh, any food that's out there all that stuff comes back in and right now there are are receiving new inventory and new gifts and new uh, new games plush and things all that stuff is coming in right now our foods department you know they already went through and did their winter cleanup you know to clean up their locations as best as possible right now they're coming up with new creations and, and new menu items to put out on the midway so and, and then hiring you know we hire over 5,000 employees every summer that's going on right now so yeah every department's got different things to go on uh, during the off season to get ready for the summer uh, summer season All right, just behind us is the gatekeeper. We're going to take this time to get to know Brian. Brian, explain us a little about your job here at Cedar Point. Yeah, I'm the public relations manager here at Cedar Point, which basically means I get to tell people about all the awesome things we have to do here at the park. Right, and uh, what what do you like most about your job? You, when you hear the title, you work at an amusement park, it's just got to be so entertaining to people. So what do you love most about your job? Yeah, as much as people think we all go ride the roller coasters all the time, which we do, I think uh, the best part of my job is before the park opens for the day, you know, I get to walk down the midway, kind of like what we did today. There's nobody around, everyone's outside the gates, and you can look through those gates every morning, and on the other side, you see kids just anxious to get in. You see moms and dads that might be a little stressed, you know, because they heard, are we there yet? Are we there yet for the last <laughs> half hour, you know? So there's a lot of stress and, and anticipation on that side of the gate, but once those gates open up and those people come through, smiles on every single person's face, and they just come and they have a fun day, and that's what I enjoy the most, is that, in a small part, I get to help people have fun and enjoy themselves, enjoy their family, enjoy their friends here at Cedar Point. That's what I enjoy most, just seeing the smiles on those kids and parents' faces. Absolutely, and you have a lot of passion for the park, and that's come through on, on camera. What, when you hang up the boots to leave here at Cedar Point, what would you like to look back and you've accomplished and you've given to the park of Cedar Point? Yeah, again, I, I think the thing I would look back on, is, and again, I've been here, I think this is my 24th summer, so I've been here quite a while. I've seen a lot of changes. And I, again, I think the thing I'd look back on is knowing that in a small part, I, I told people, hey, you got to go to Cedar Point. You know, the awesome rides, the awesome shows, uh, the great kids areas, the beach, the hotels. I'm hoping that again, sometime 20, 30 years, my kids, or my kids' kids will be looking at old pictures and saying, ah, I remember when we went to Cedar Point and we rode the first ride with dad or we did this with mom or the grandparents. That's my hope. So I'm looking forward to that. As much as I love my job, I'm looking forward to, again, seeing my kids pass down that tradition of going to Cedar Point to their kids. All right, so we've been to the new ride, Rougarou, we've been by the Dragster, and we've been on the Sky Ride, and now we are here on the tracks of the Gatekeeper. And Brian, how's the response to this new ride, Gatekeeper, been so far? Gatekeeper's been one of our most successful new coasters we've ever introduced here at Cedar Point. Our fans absolutely love it. That combination of height, speed, that unique feeling that you're actually out on like the wings of an airplane, it's an awesome ride. Our guests absolutely love it. Right, and a couple of times you actually tuck your legs in because you don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of unique uh, mind alter spots there where you want to duck your feet in or when you go through those eye holes you kind of duck down a little bit even though you're so far away but yeah it just adds to the excitement of the coaster absolutely and uh, a couple of questions for you what how many people does Cedar Point see in a typical day in, in the summer yeah, during the summer we could see tens of thousands of people. Usually annually during the summer months we see about three million guests that come to Cedar Point, not only from just around this area, but around the Midwest and really around the world. Absolutely. And it is the number one coaster park in the world, and that's something you guys have to work hard day in and day out to maintain. Yeah, absolutely. You know, our goal every summer is to provide our guests with their best day experience. Whether they come and ride our 17 rides or any of our other 71 roller coasters, if they come and see any of our awesome stage shows, grab a bite to eat, you know, check out the beach, even 
though we can't really tell where the beach is today, you know, that's our goal. We want our guests to come, have a great time, uh, you know, create some awesome memories with their friends and family and enjoy their time here at Cedar Point. And everybody always does. I always do. And when you, uh, when you did roller coaster, you, yeah. you say you don't <laughs> as much now. What was your favorite ride here at Cedar Point? You know, if I had to go ride a roller coaster, I would do Raptor. That front seat of Raptor is just awesome. That sensation of flight, there's nothing in front of you, nothing around you. I love Raptor. But again, Millennium Force is a great ride too. But again, I've got some little ones now, so uh, my expertise is more in the kids area <laughs> with Camp Snoopy and Planet Snoopy. Uh, so yeah, so I've got a different expertise when it comes to Cedar Point. But again, that's the cool thing about the park is whether you love roller coasters, whether you hate them, there's something for everybody to do here at Cedar Point. Right, and no matter if they're totally enthusiasts on the coasters or the kids to have a good time, that's something you gotta love about Cedar Point, the family aspect. So you're the father of four little ones. What's the favorite part about the kid zone in here at Cedar Point? Oh, I love being able to ride rides with the kids. You know, their first time riding the kiddie roller coaster or their first time going on the Ferris wheel. That's for that's what I enjoy. And that's what I think our guests really love. They can come here to Cedar Point and they're going to create lifelong memories. You know, everyone remembers when they came to Cedar Point, either as a child or when they came last summer with friends and family. And that's what we do here. We create special, happy, lifelong memories uh, for families, friends, adults of all ages. And that's what really makes Cedar Point that much more special. And I'm sure you're looking forward to all the people who make a 2015 summer memory here this coming year. Yep, that's our goal. We want you to come here this summer, whether you ride Rougarou, whether you stay at our hotel breakers, check out the bumper cars, any of our shows, attractions, we want you to have an awesome time. All right, Brian, thank you so much for showing thank us the you. park. We'll see you this summer. Absolutely. So that's your behind the scenes look here at Cedar Point. Make sure to come out and enjoy the fun this summer. A special thanks to Brian Edwards and everybody here at Cedar Point for letting us come out and do this. That's your social special today for WHEI TV 10. I'm Scott Carpenter.